My name is Sam Meisler and I'm a small animal veterinarian. In this segment, let's talk about dog pancreatitis or pancreatitis in dogs. First of all, what is the pancreas? The pancreas is an organ that produces and stores enzymes for digestion, like digestion of sugars and proteins. Now you can imagine the body is also, and the pancreas is also structured and made of proteins and sugars and fats and things like that. So this organ has to be very carefully put together such that it doesn't digest itself. If you're storing an enzyme that digests proteins, then you have to be careful that this stuff doesn't start digesting the walls around it, which are made of protein. It's sort of like storing gunpowder or explosives, you've got to keep a careful watch. You don't get everything put together like oxygen, flame, the gunpowder. When they are put together, you're going to have an explosion. Same sort of thing with the pancreas. Now, the pancreas has all sorts of checks and balances to make sure it doesn't digest itself. When it becomes inflamed, that checks and balance system starts to break down and you have the pancreas almost sort of digesting itself and you get inflammation of the pancreas. It can be very painful. Symptoms such as vomiting occur, dehydration, and intense abdominal pain. What sparks pancreatitis? A lot of dogs are predisposed to pancreatitis and the most common one is the schnauzer. The miniature schnauzer is a dog that's very predisposed to pancreatitis. The other factor is a lot of rich foods that stimulate the pancreas that can sometimes start about a pancreatitis. So with a schnauzer, for example, you don't want to be feeding it lots of rich foods. The other factors are sometimes there are stress factors involved. Sometimes other medications can cause pancreatitis. Now, when your dog has pancreatitis, again, the symptoms of, of vomiting, not eating, intense stomach pain, they get weak and dehydrated. When a dog comes into the exam room that has those symptoms, that's one of the things I'm going to think about. We can do a blood test that will see if some of those enzymes that are stored in the, in the pancreas, a couple of them in particular, amylase and lipase, if they're increased in the blood, then we know there's probably some sort of problem in the pancreas because the pancreas is releasing all those enzymes into the bloodstream. And you can get some quite dramatic increases in those two enzymes, amylase and lipase, in the blood when you have dog pancreatitis. They're not always elevated, but most of the time in a, in a case of pancreatitis, they're elevated. Now, as far as treatment, we want to tone down that pancreas. So most veterinarians will do some sort of fasting. They'll do some IV fluids, possibly some IV nutrition, some antibiotics, because when you have a breakdown of the system, you may get some bacteria come through the intestinal wall and protection against bacteria may not be as enhanced as normal. And then once everything calms down, your dog's going to be fed some very bland, low-fat, non-stimulatory foods to get back on its feet. Some pancreatitis bouts last several days, some just last a day or two, and some are very, very serious, and you have a very, very ill dog, and some are very mild that can be treated just by withholding food for 24 hours and then, and then starting back on a bland food. Now, pancreatitis in the dog is not the same as pancreatitis in people. There is an association with pancreatitis in people with cancer. We do not have that strong association in dogs. So that will ease your mind a little bit when you get the diagnosis of pancreatitis for your dog.